Hello, bookworms, and welcome to the stream. Here we are again today, playing some more of the cat lady. Uh, by the way, I would just like to say the reason if it looks weird, if it looks different than normal, it's because I flipped my video. Uh, I always had it so it was mirroring me, so that you'd normally see this microphone on uh, this, this side over here. But uh, I actually have it flipped this time. Which is weird for me to see, uh, but it's mainly because I'm wearing a Nintendo 64 shirt, and I just didn't feel like having the words look backwards. <laughs> uh, and I used to do it a lot because for the green screen, uh, especially when we were playing the game, I wanted like the arm of the microphone to be on the on this side. Oh, this is hard to do backwards, but you know what I mean on the other side of the screen, uh, so it didn't look weird. But now that we're just kind of in a box anyway, I figured it doesn't really matter. But yeah, uh, welcome to the stream. We're playing some more Cat Lady. For those of you who were here last time, you'll remember that uh, we were dealing with pest control in the sense that pest control killed us. <laughs> uh, or was going to... It actually didn't kill us. I, I'm wrong. Uh, bleached our eyes so that we couldn't see or do anything anymore. And then uh, we killed ourselves so that we could be brought back to life and come back to get revenge. So that's what we're doing. I'm going to hit the, the game thing here. I, uh, I know I didn't put a little message up in the corner. I'm so sorry for that. I, get, I really should do that. I also want to give a shout out to uh, Danny Shyland. Thank you for the follow. Much appreciated. Uh, let me get this game all set and ready to go. Whenever I pause it, it will like do this thing. But it's fine. Put it here so I can see it along with Chad. Uh, let's see. Load game. Is the audio too loud? I might bring it down a little bit more. Let me do that. I want to make sure when they talk, though, you guys can hear them. Okay, so uh, let's let's load the game. Load. That's weird. It gives me the option to save, considering we're not in it. Oh, right, right. Okay, so we're dealing with pest control, but we had like kind of. Uh, hold on, I'm gonna bring that down one more. There was kind of like a flashback sequence, so we're like flipping between earlier and. Uh, later um what were we doing mitzi examined she reminds me of myself when i was younger i'm not sure if i can fully trust her but so far she seems genuine maybe i will give her a chance Talk have you her. found that corkscrew yet we'll also right need some wine glasses i forgot we needed to get the uh corkscrew i remember where that is in the kitchen i'm assuming the wine Glasses are probably around the same area. So we'll head over there, see what we can find. Hold on. That's why I left it there. Uh, kitchen. What? Oh, that's just Link in his post. Sorry, I'm looking at my camera because I'm not used to having the background behind me, so I'm trying to figure out what I was looking at. Uh, cupboard open. Take corkscrew. She wanted wine glasses, but where would we keep that exactly? Alright, hold on. It's too dark in here. I'll turn on some lights. Um, there we go. I guess that would make sense to put it in there. One for me, one for Mitzi. And then we're gonna murder her with the corkscrew. No. Maybe. No. Uh, spare bedroom. Oh, wow, she already put up her posters and everything. I didn't even realize. Have you found that corkscrew yet? We we'll also need some wine glasses. Oh, I gotta give it to her. Alright. Nothing fancy, just an ordinary corkscrew. There you go. Let's get that bottle open. Yeah. But we'll need glasses too. See if you can find some. Guess what? I did. <laughs> They're still pretty clean after all these years. I'm assuming she doesn't found use some them wine much. glasses. All right, that's all we need. Oh, and Miss Ashworth, I really must say this before we start. Yeah? 
I promise I won't cut your throat when you're asleep. Very funny, Mitzi. Oh no, I mean it. That's fine. But just so you know, I mean, I always room. sleep with my eyes open. That's kind of creepy, not gonna lie. <laughs> if I like came in and she had her eyes open. Uh, so the big C, you want to talk about it? Oh, it's not raining anymore. How are you planning to find this guy? Let's go with. Oh, it's not raining anymore. Oh, it's not raining anymore. Oh well, I don't mind rain. Sometimes I even like it. But according to weather forecast, there's a nasty fog coming. Now that I'm actually scared of. I got lost in a fog once when I was just nine or ten. It's what I remember I sat are. under a tree crying, thinking some monster would appear right in front of me and drag me away. But now that you're a big girl, you know there are no monsters. Yeah? How do you know? Uh, I've never seen one, nor has anyone else. The only monsters are us, murderers, rap rapists, arsonists. Uh, we'll go in the middle one. The only monsters are us. Murderers, rapists, arsonists. They're the real beasts. So far from humanity, they're no longer capable of feeling compassion or guilt. They're the ones we should really be afraid of. But whether they're lurking in the woods or fog or the darkness of our cellars, it's all irrelevant. You can't predict what happens. You can't do anything to stop it. There is only one way. You turn into a beast yourself, and like them, you show no mercy. And that's uh, what we did Whoa, to the doctor. Where so did we'll that, do that come from, Miss Ashworth? I just don't like murderers. They're nothing but. Is she gonna say parasites? Parasites. I knew it. I knew it. Bringing us back around to uh, our whole thing there. Uh, let's. Yeah, we'll ask her about the cancer. So, the big C. Want to talk about it? Well, to be honest, I didn't really want to tell you about it like that. I put you in a very difficult position, I know. But if it isn't the raging, it's just raging, that I was really raging desperate to get this room. Hello, Rena. How hope are you, can you doing understand. today? This is the last and most important thing I must do before my time is up. It's fine. You seem all right. It's just I find it hard to trust people these days. Maybe it's time I opened my eyes to see others have problems too. Some, like yourself, even bigger than mine. What kind of cancer is it? Do you mind me asking? Just finished Rain cooking tumor. while listening to Vaporwave. Her name nice. is Cleoblastoma. I don't know what Her. Vaporwave is, but nice. Yep, they're all girls, the way I imagine it. Just look at their names. Lymphona, melanoma, myeloma. Leukemia, sarcoma. Each of them a fucking goddess of death. Beautiful and ruthless. Hmm, you might just be right about that, Mitzi. I used to be a nurse. I know a few things I about see. cancer. And I she know Cleo Blastoma. Oh, we're getting some She's a real background. bitch. Yeah, and yet she gets to be the prom queen before night ends while I disappear down the back exit. How long? How about you? Is this still the you flashback from before year. you got bleached? Yeah. But that was six Pretty months sure ago, it is. so... Yeah. We're drinking some wine on the long. balcony. Is there anything... They've tried. I'm sorry. Yeah. So am I. Also, Rena, you'll you notice... You're gonna talk uh, about something else. I switched my camera around. Because I, I bought this Nintendo shirt, and I didn't want the words to be backwards. So instead of having it mirror me like I normally do, I switched it to normal view. So if you're wondering why it looks different, that's probably why. Uh, how are you planning to find this guy? How are you planning to find this guy? I don't know yet. A bit of detective work, perhaps. It shouldn't be that hard, really. There are only eight apartments here. One is yours. That leaves us with seven. I was hoping that you could give me a hand, actually. You know some of your neighbors, don't you? Not many. I never really cared about them. They changed over the years, too. You probably also figured by now that this is not the sort of place where new neighbors are greeted with a freshly baked cake. You see a new face, 
You give them a blank stare as you pass them in the hall, and you forget about them a minute later. At that, eh? Well, there's that bull guy who lives above me in flat five. He came here recently to shout in my face. He's yeah, a nasty piece of work, but I really don't think he's the person you're looking for. What does he do for a living? Rena, why are you so I against mirror I think he's a cameras? train driver. I can't imagine somehow that my guy would be a train driver. Okay, that's good. Leaves us with just six. Anyone else you know? I'd have to think. You know, maybe not tonight. Let's just talk about something else, okay? I have plenty of time. There's no need to rush this. Maybe tomorrow we could sit down together and make a plan. I could draw a simple map of the building, and with your help, mark down who lives where? She, now she used to, to me, be a, Mitzi. a nurse. Susan used to be a nurse, so... What is, does she even do anything for a living? We haven't really heard anything about her working. Exactly. But, uh, Rena, just to, uh, to explain why I went with the mirror camera originally, and not the regular camera, is, uh, especially if I'm looking at myself, it's easier to, to kind of feel it out, but it's because of the side my microphone's on. Um... The way that this normal camera look, I guess, is uh, it kind of throws, or it, when I had the green screen up, it would kind of throw it off because the microphone would just be like floating, I guess. So I had switched it because I wanted it to just come out of the wall and make it look more natural. But now that uh, I'm not bothering with the green screen, I took it down. Um, it makes it work a bit better, I think. Uh, it just seems so obvious that the view from the camera should reflect what other people see and not what you see in the mirror. I mean, I guess that's true. But, I don't know, from a philosophical standpoint, that you're getting to know how I see myself. Uh, you mentioned a boyfriend. Tell me something about him. You mentioned a boyfriend? Tell me something about him. Yeah, okay. Let's talk about him. His name is Jack. He's dead. Well, that's a oh. sucky boyfriend, then, if he's dead. Miss Ashworth, are you sure you want to listen about my miserable life? I don't want to bring you down. These aren't happy stories. Oh, you can't. And I'm not down. a happy stories kind of person. I'm sure you've noticed. Susan's by now. like bottom level right I guess now. So. <laughs> Mitzi can't. Anyway, I suppose I would have had to tell you about Jack sooner or later. After all, he is the main reason I'm here. I just don't know where to start. Uh, tell me about how you two met. How did he take the news about your cancer? Jack made those pictures on your wall. Was he an artist? How did he die? Uh, I guess we'll start with the beginning. How did you Tell guys Tell me meet? how you two met. Oh, we knew each other for like, forever. We grew up on the same street. It's funny how we seem to be made for each other. Perfect match. I always knew he was the guy for me and I'm sure he never doubted that either. Jack was absolutely crazy about me. We thought one day we would marry, have children, be happy. And then he I never died. had many friends because I had Jack. I didn't need anybody else. You know, if there's one thing I'm really grateful for in my life, it's that I got to experience this pure, perfect love. That's actually a good way. It, it, then he took the light L. Yeah, Rana. That's a good way to view it, though. I've very lucky. Being lucky for the time you have, rather but than... All luck runs out sometimes. You know. Uh, how did he take the news about your cancer? Yeah, we'll go with that one. How did he take the news about your cancer? He thought I was joking at first. He laughed. That's awkward. And he got really angry. I swore to him I was serious, but he still wouldn't believe me. We had a big fight that night. It was our first and only fight. But it was awful. I wonder why he, he wouldn't believe her, though. Stuff. His guitar, of all things, was the worst. He loved that guitar. Why did he break it? Oh, he he was absolutely it, it furious. He walked out on me that night, and when he came back the next day, he was different. He begged me to try surgery and chemotherapy. I didn't really want those things. I feel like that's really common. But I did the chemo for him. With you when you get the it didn't news. help. You think so? It just made me feel sick all the time. I felt trapped in this strange place where nothing that happened around me seemed real. Maybe that's why I didn't see what my cancer was doing to Jack, and it was destroying him as well. He changed. He became obsessed with death. 
Well, I mean, death was all he ever thought about. <laughs> he died himself, so then Even he kind of met it. Even though it was me, not him, who was supposed to die. Yeah, in a way, that's kind of. If you think about it, she was the one that was supposed to die, and he was upset about it because he didn't want her to die. So he was just like, "Let me go ahead and die first. Like, I want to know how he died. Uh, yeah, cancer is so built up as something that happens to other people, even though cancer causing things are common in the state of California. Kind of like. ALS or Alzheimer's. Oh, I see. Uh, yeah, we'll ask about the pictures. Jack and made those pictures on your day. wall. Was he an artist? He always liked all kinds of morbid stuff, whether it was music, movies, paintings. So do I, really. We had that in common, amongst other things. People say it's depressing to listen to sad songs or watch sad films, but I never felt that way. And yet, you are scared of fog. Oh, that's different. But well, the fog's really coming in I now. might be scared of fog, but I like spiders. They're beautiful. You must be out of your mind, Mitzi. Chet, I actually no, didn't honestly, realize that the fog has been moving in this whole time. Indescribable beauty and sadness. Just like there's beauty in the gray and ugly winter morning when you look past the obvious and notice what others can't see. Oh yeah, she said you earlier she was scared of fog because she got then. she got lost it's in It's like uh, ugly took little. a vacation here. And never went home again. <laughs> I mean, you make a good point, Rena. I guess they are in England, which I'm sure the fog is a constant. Um, how did how he die? How did he die? How did Jack die? It was so distant the last few weeks before before he died. What I didn't know was that he kept looking for something. I don't think he even knew what exactly. But it eventually found him. Or rather, he found him. There are those forums online, you know? About all sorts of stuff. Fishing, computer games, horses, gambling, addictions. Everything, really. Yep. Accidentally, Jack stumbled upon one about suicide. There's a guy there. Calls himself the Eye of Adam. He's a fucking god. Is that who form. she's looking for? It's like a failed suicide club. People mostly try to help each other and offer support. Sometimes it just helps to know there are others like you. To listen to their stories and, and how they cope with their lives. I bet that's who she's looking but for. But the Eye of Adam is an advocate of death. He dwells on human weakness. His job is to plant an idea, to give them a reason to die and tell them how to do it, once and for good. Jack took the bait. Before he knew, he was completely brainwashed. One day, he sat down with me and tried to explain his perfect solution. It was the Romeo and Juliet kind of scenario. He's trying to drag her we were down with them. both to die together in each other's arms. It was supposed to be a quick and foolproof death. There was no chance we would have been saved. All thanks to the eye of Adam. I wonder created if... Created a tool for perfect suicide. If she tried and it didn't... He told me it was very simple. All we needed were two easily accessible household chemicals. Which combined together create gas called hydrogen sulfide. That kills you within a couple of minutes. I told him he was fucking nuts, of course. But he just wouldn't give up. Mm. Reasoned with me, and he begged, and eventually just kept screaming at me. I figured it was his crazy idea of a modern romance, but it was downright tacky and just wrong. Finally, he said he would get everything ready and wait for me in our special place at dawn. Five in the morning. Don't be late. Those were his last words he said to me. Then he stormed out. I cried for hours thinking I, I didn't deserve all that from the person I love most in the whole world. That really sucks. A few times sucks, I even though. tried to persuade myself that maybe he was right and I should do it. But I just couldn't. I eventually fell asleep. I didn't plan it. My head was killing me. I was so tired. Yeah, the fog is suddenly. like almost fully consuming now. I could see the sun rising out my window. It was nearly five. In utter panic, I threw myself off the bed and ran out the door. I needed to stop him. I needed to get there before it was too late. 
but right there in my bedroom, before I even left, I already knew it was. When I arrived at our special place, it was already bright. We used to go there in the past, drink wine, sometimes smoke weed and listen to Pink Floyd, sometimes make love in Jack's car. There wasn't really anything special about that old parking lot. But to us there was. It was completely abandoned. It was quiet. It was safe. After that day, I've never gone there again. I couldn't blame her for that. It's interesting seeing the, uh, oh. Are we playing as her now? Uh, it's interesting seeing the difference between Mitzi and Jack, where Mitzi has cancer but doesn't want to die, and Jack obviously does want to die but hasn't been able to uh, until now. And the whole thing seemed to start because he was depressed about her having cancer. How did Jack die again? Uh, he he killed himself using um, uh, a couple of different chemicals that together made a deadly chemical that'll kill you in a couple minutes. He tried to take her with him. That's what she was saying earlier. Uh, but she didn't do it. <laughs> so he just ended up doing it himself. Uh, there were signs on the car windows. How strong is that gas? I'm, okay, I'm curious about the signs, though. There were signs on the car windows. Warning signs, yeah. I found on that forum that the Eye of Adam doesn't want any accidental deaths. So we posted this poster design for people to print. It turns out there's a whole sick ideology behind it. Fumes from the car could hurt anyone who opens the door. And that's not the point. The idea is to die willingly and with clear mind. To prepare for it. To embrace it. Jesus. You'd think the police would investigate the whole thing. Sounds almost like a sect. This guy knows how to hide. The police can't be bothered to make an effort. It took me three months to track him down. Now I'm finally so close, I can almost smell that fucker. Imagine it's the bald guy this whole time. So like, okay, so the thing about that, right? So the thing about um, the whole Eye of Adam what are you saying to me? Mitzi's condition requires exposure to a chemical treatment that causes pain, chemotherapy. Well, Jack's suicide was done using chemicals. Yeah, exactly. Like, that's... I find that really, really interesting. Uh, and... The thing about the Eye of Adam is this, this guy is helping these people to figure out how to kill themselves, but... It's like... Like, it, like if you're trying to help somebody do something, right? And... You're doing it from experience, because you've done it before, it, like, makes sense. But in this case, these people are getting help to try to kill themselves from a guy who hasn't killed themselves. So it's, like, really, it's really interesting. Hey, B. Chetik, welcome to the stream. Um... strong is that How gas? How strong is that gas? Extremely deadly, it turns out. It kills in minutes. It's that stinky stuff that smells like rotten eggs, you know? At high concentrations, it can knock down an elephant. I'm so sorry. I think now I understand. He loved you so much, he couldn't bear the thought of living without you. And that guy, the Eye of Adam. I'm not surprised you want to find him. I know I would. He's definitely I'm gonna not be sure like if I should believe that I'm you guessing. only want to talk to him. But hey... That's none of my business. I wouldn't know what I'd do if this happened to me. Good to know, but I really just want to talk. I want to face Jack's killer and tell him what he's done to me. You know, the funny part is that he actually told me where he lives. He wants to meet me. Would you believe that? How come? Well, this kind of thing he does is called trolling on the internet. It's usually a form of extreme bullying and psychological cruelty. Those who are clever enough say don't I like that she has to, ex don't to explain to trolling. Yeah. This it is an older game though. It only makes it worse if you show any interest in them at all. And I have Adam is no exception. He craves attention. He's a hungry troll who wants to devour as many hearts as he can get a hold of. 
I emailed him and told him I was a massive fan who loves his work. He wouldn't believe me at first. But trolls are always hungry, and I was prepared to serve him a meal fit for a king. What do you mean? I fed him so much bullshit that he really believed I'm a suicide preacher just like him. Great. Oh, she's trying to lure him I wish in. he'd given you his door number, though. It's all a part of some sick game he's playing. Sooner or later, I'll find him. Uh, let me just read chat real quick before I continue. Um, Brett, I don't know who Brett is. I'm Book. <laughs> uh, Mitzi's condition can also be imagined as cells in her body rebelling in a way they shouldn't. Jack's condition can be imagined as his mind and emotional state working against him too. Yeah, your mother really loves this game. Well, tell her to stop watching it. Uh, or continue watching it if she loves it. But uh, I'm watching you on both the TV and my iPad. Does do I count as two views? I don't believe so, because uh, you and Rena are, I think, the only two viewers I have. So I think since it's from the same account, probably not. Uh, what are those two chemical products? What are those two chemical products? Well, <laughs> asking for a friend. I'm not sure if you want to know that. I get it. You don't want to tell me because I'm a fucking suicidal maniac. Is that it? No, Ms. Ashworth. No, I, I didn't mean it like that. Okay. Maybe to some extent. Just replace maniac with victim and fucking with... Recovering. You only just come back from the hospital. I know, Whatever that was literally was like yesterday, it, wasn't it? You proved you are capable of going through with it. I don't know you long enough to tell you if you're completely over it now. And the last thing I want is to give you stupid ideas. It would be just like what the Eye of Adam Listen, does. Rena. I would never forgive myself if anything happened to you because of me. I mean, how could I? I know for a fact my mom probably doesn't like this game and uh, P. Chittick was being uh, sarcastic or joking. As far as I know, I could be wrong. I could be wrong. If she likes it, then continue watching it. But uh, otherwise, I'm not telling people to stop watching, so don't come at me like this. Uh, what if I promise to you I will never do it again? I learned my lesson. Dying is not for me. Those who want to die I'll, will always find a way to do it. Um, maybe the middle one. I've learned my lesson. Dying is not for me. I'd really like to believe you, Miss Ashworth. But I will need you to promise me that you will never try this method. All right. I can promise you that I will never try this method. Or any other method, for that matter. Been there done that. Didn't enjoy it much. Well, she can't die now anyway. Do she you believe me now? Back. That's the whole deal. Yeah, I think I do. Good. I'm glad you said that, you know. The recipe for this deadly cocktail is very simple. Any good housewife can make it in Ooh, a Ooh, are we gonna use it to kill the pest control guy? We've been resurrected. And thank you to Teapot, the cat, for, uh, Getting us the uh, key last time for the handcuffs. Uh, it's what they use for catching cats. I thought these grabbers were banned some time ago. Better take that. I'm sure that'll be useful. Let us get some revenge on the last person who killed us, chat. Parasite number two. The guy in charge of pest control. Um... The lamp is on, I can't see a switch for it anywhere. Let's look around for a second. So we got the kitchen door, the lamp, the clock, main door. Examine. It's an old grandfather clock, looks like it's still working. Open. Yeah, like if there's going to be a hidden passage inside. I'll leave it for someone else to discover, I'm in enough trouble already. Okay, no switch. Uh, before we go in the kitchen door, what is the door to our right? It's already open. They don't make them like this anymore. Window, look outside. All I see is the fog. I could never find my way home. So we're kind of like trapped here anyway. Chad, do you hear that? There's somebody walking around. Uh, which is a little nerve-wracking. Examine. It's old, like everything in this house. There are cobwebs and dust all over it. Sit. No time for that. Got to figure out how to get out of here. 
and probably that's the same thing I imagine. Examine. Nice lamp. Switch on. Hmm, nothing happens. It needs a new light bulb. I should look around for one. This is like a nice house though, jeez. Examine nice. What? Both of them need new light bulbs? That's weird. Check under the cushions. I don't think it'll let me, will it? No, it it uh only asks me to sit. So I can't. So if there are light bulbs under the cushions, I'll be very confused. Uh, kitchen. Bottles. Empty wine bottles. They like a drink. There's nothing like a bottle of red with your medium rare cat steak. Uh, this is where she cooks. Dirty pans still stink of old cat stew. It asked you to examine, I thought. Yeah, uh, when I examined it the first time, it was just her talking about the couch being old. Uh, examine. They're all terribly blunt. Could hardly function as a weapon. Damn. I mean, unless I was supposed to still... I don't know. We'll come back to it. Hold on one second. Alright, uh... Take knife, for sure. Better keep ourselves armed. Examine. Well, I don't know if she actually eats cats or if they're just uh, joking. Because the, the people that we're trying to kill right now are um, uh, pest control. Like, they work as pest control. They capture cats and stuff. But they're also, like, crazy kind of murderers. So we're not really sure <laughs> if uh, they're eating cats or not. She's not eating cats. Susan. Susan's uh, called the cat lady because she loves cats. And she has cats and stuff that comes... And she feeds slimy. I don't think she was washes up very often. Ew. Uh, there's blood smeared all over it. Nice. Uh, the door is stuck, but maybe that's better. I'm not sure. I want to know what's inside. Table. Examine. Filthy remains of many meals litter the dining table. There is a strong stench of rotten food. I don't need to hide at the moment. But that's good to know that there is a place we can hide. Um, a small painting of a street stall at night. Apparently I can just take it. Uh... Oh, well, well. I don't have a control Box for Boxes full of bleach. I suppose I deserve a bottle. I've worked hard for it. This reminds me of something. Leaving book nerd. The first thing you Always. need is a strong toilet bleach. You know the kind. Not just a regular bleach, but one that makes your eyes all watery and skin itchy. This is the same bleach that they poured on my face in the last uh, stream. Then I think that's the right kind. What's going on? Something is wrong, Mitzi. The cats are alarming. Exactly like when I found you, Miss Ashworth. We've got to check what's going on. Oh, I'm really sorry, but there is no way I'm going out in this. Oh, fog. is this how we get kidnapped? Kidnapped? Fine. Kidnapped. I'll go on my own then. <laughs> Book. I've got to praise the grind. Cleans out a house of valuables. Art thief. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, I I do my best. We uh we could sell it later, make a profit. You never know. Alright, yeah, this is totally where he's gonna kidnap us. It's, uh, it's... Wait, who's... We can't go anything there. It's interesting... How, uh... This chapter is doing it where it's bouncing back and forth. Stab the painting with the knife. Well, I have to wait till I get back to that, uh, section first before I do anything. Mailbox. Examine. Uh, it's a communal mailbox. It holds all tenants' mail in separately locked compartments. No mail for Susan Ashworth. Surprise, surprise. All other compartments are locked. I think uh, we'll be able to check out other parts soon, but... Yeah, that's the pest control van right there. Did I miss something?
bloody fog. Can't see a thing. Someone could be getting murdered two feet away and not a soul would notice. Yeah, that is, uh, that could happen now, couldn't it? But still, it could be worse. At least it's not raining, eh? Always look on the right side, they say, and I always do. Not a talkative type, are you? What's your name, sweetheart? Uh, what's interesting to me, chat, uh, if you remember from how he sounded last time, that, I mean, the, the way they record the audio of these people, and again, this is an older game, so I'm sure that's why a lot of it sounds kind of weird. He's a Mon my Monty Python fan, so... Um, but uh, it's that the way he talks, like the way they recorded him, it still sounds like when he has the mask on, even though he doesn't actually have the mask on this time. Uh, it's none of your Don't business. Don't be such a scary cat, sweetheart. You're Susan, aren't you? A kind man had described to me what you look like. The different and recordings what, what can I say? It was sounds... spot on. What do you want? Make it sound kind of I'm uh, just here on a job, scarier. sweetheart. Nothing more. I had a call, you see. There's a cat problem. And apparently, some crazy cat lady keeps making it worse for everyone. A crazy cat lady called Susan, I was told. Now, oh, for sure. you ain't oh, gonna like it, it sweetheart, but I'm taking you for a ride. All right, hold on, I gotta set up the... Oh, sorry. Ah, one second. Okay, there we go. Sorry, when I click off, it messes up the uh, the audio. And Blue just uh, redeemed both a where's my glasses and a sit up straight. So I need to get my timer ready. Um, so that means we take off my glasses for three minutes. And uh, I play without looking at it. And he's making me sit up straight, meaning I can't get close and stare at it. Also, hello, Blue. Welcome. Our best, uh, best moderator. Here we go. No glasses. What happened? Oh, are we back in the flashback over? I have no idea what that says. Oh, it's a door? Oh. Uh, bathtub. Examine. Oh, chat, I can't. Hold on. Is this cheating? No, because I'm not wearing glasses. Uh, uh, that doesn't... Actually, squinting's just easier. Uh, is this where they wash? This water looks very odd, like a mixture of dirt, melted something, and petrol. Wait, can I? I can't combine the bleach with it, can I? Oh, I guess not. Blue, this is the worst time to do this to me because it's all text. Uh, examine. What is it doing in the bath? It's all rusted and covered in slime. What are we talking about? Wait, wait, lawnmower? Lawnmower. I thought it's a flamethrower for a second. Blue, you're so mean to me. Look closer. What did. What? Uh, examine bathtub. The water is absolutely disgusting. The smell alone makes me wretch. Ah. Uh, I think I have like a minute left, chat, and then I can see again. I don't even know what you're saying about me. Oh. What? Examine corpse. Oh, okay. Uh, take key. There is no way I'm putting my hand in the water. To get the key, I would have to... touch this person, too. I've seen many dead bodies in my life, but this is one but this is one is definitely the creepiest of them all uh actually hold on does that mean we can uh 
try to use the Reacher, maybe? Yes. Got it. Uh, wait. Oh, is that it? I can't look further? Whoops. Okay, I want to examine the key real quick. It looks like a car key. Oh, okay. That's good to know. Oh. Timer's going off. I can put my glasses back on. Alright, what have you been saying about me this whole time? Uh, I know, that's why I did it, SMH. This is why he's best mod. Oh, oh wow, that's messed up. Oh, remove the plug. Oh, was there a plug? I, I literally, I could not see any of any of that. It was really bad. Um, it's a garden shed. I really don't like the look of it. Black Dragon Pest Control Services. That's an interesting name. Peek in. Oh, hey! I still don't know why she's wearing a nurse outfit. What? What blue? Why are you yelling my name? Sorry, I was just doing something real quick. I am Book. This is true. Uh, leave, stay, and watch. Or look around the room. Uh, look around the room. Piles of meat. Could it be human, too? Not oh, damn it. Okay. Thank you for the sit-up straight, Blue. It's better for my back that way. I could probably find something useful on those shelves, but I need her to get away. Uh, you're lucky it's out of stock. Oh, were you gonna do it again? That would have been, uh, terrible. I like that stay and watch as an option. I assume nothing's gonna change, but wait. I can't grab it, but there seems to be some sort of chemical over there. Stab the bitch. If only. Actually, can I? Hmm, no, this is a ter terribly bad weapon. Blunt, rusty piece of crap. Oh. Let me examine the painting. All a small painting of a street thing. I don't think we can use this yet. I think we need to go get more chemicals or something. Oh, you did a where's a blue? I swear, you're just trying to you're trying to kill me here. Let me set my timer, or not kill me, but make this take longer because I can't read anything. Uh, blue, uh, for anyone who doesn't see this layer, blue redeemed, uh, wears my glasses, and just sit up straight again. And I can't just combine this? No. And again, chat, I can't read you at the moment, because I don't have my glasses on. I can barely read the game, so just, uh, bear with me a little bit here. I don't know. I think she said she didn't need to hide, I'm assuming. Uh, fridge, so sink, cooker, let's say cooker, cooker, yeah. Uh, what was this again? Bottles, oh, wait. Okay, I was like, maybe we can combine stuff. Well, actually, let me go back in. I don't think we can, but I just want to see if... We can combine. No, we can't. Uh, chat, I think the only place we haven't gone besides outside uh, is up the stairs. So we'll go up the stairs in a minute. But uh, what is this small window? Examine. Oh, it's all boarded up. Glass on one side of the window is broken. So this is where the draft is coming from. Uh... Inside, I can see my kidnapper fast asleep in the chair. Well, I guess if we were going to pour anything, van. Search back of the van, open door. The um, I'm almost glad I was unconscious when he brought me here. Through the window, I can see there's animal mess and blood everywhere. But the back door is locked. I wonder if I can find a spare key somewhere. Great. G 
Jesus, what a horrible stench. But what's this? It seems this idiot does everything his creepy wife from hell tells him to. He thought his gas mask... Oh, he brought his gas mask here. I'll take it. He won't need it ever again when it when I'm done here. So she's probably going to use the gas mask in order to... Uh, um, what, Blue? Hold on, I got like 15 seconds, and then I'll be able to see again and see what you're trying to say to me. Six, five, four. But yeah, I think we'll probably use the gas mask. Oh, we'll use the chemicals to kill them. Let me put this on. Uh, I wish I had mustard greens right now. Oh, that wasn't blue that did it. It was Rena. I'm sorry. I mixed up the colors. What are mustard greens? See, I'm blind. I, I was blind. and in my glasses on. Listen. Um... I'm just giving content. Sits up so straight he needs stretching to get in position. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's a good thing we got the mask now, so I think we're getting ready. Driver's side window, look in. The door's locked, but I can see he left a phone on the driver's seat. Maybe I could call for help if I got hold of it somehow. Oh, maybe we'll use the rusty knife to break the... Hmm, no, this is a terrible, bad weapon, blunt, rusty piece of crap. Damn it. Why am I holding it, then? Alright, um, you would think we'd be able to unlock it. I mean, we, we unlock the back. I guess it's not... Oh, were you trying to... Right, stretching? I don't understand. Put on the gas mask and dump the chemicals near the psycho bitch. Um... Well, we can't just dump them. We have to, I think we have to combine them with another chemical, and then we'll be able to do that. If I get bored, I'll make him blind again. <laughs> oh, Blue, why do you do this to me? Stinks of blood and sweat. Where? I don't need to put it on right now. Okay. No, it's just, I've never heard it pronounced like that. Well, you, you typed it kind of weird, so that's why I was confused. You type like S T R Y C H N I N E. So it, it looks like you put Strichnin. Strichnin? Strichnin? Something like that. Alright, we haven't gone upstairs yet, so let's do that. See if that makes a difference. Uh, there's only. There are only bedrooms up there. I should. Better stick to the ground floor for now. How do you know that? You didn't even go up there. Um. We could see him sleeping. Wait. Actually, you know what? Let me go back to the cellar for a second. Because there might be more chemicals we can get. Strychnine equals strychnine. What? I don't know, Rena. You're confusing me. No, I don't see any other chemicals we can get here. They used to give it to make people sober up, but what it actually does is kill rats and make you flex all of your muscles. Well, that's interesting. Wait, why would they give it to you to sober you up, then, if it's gonna do the muscles? Oh, we didn't go this way before. Examine. Strange noise is coming from the other side of the door. Oh, this is where I saw him sleeping. Uh, so you have to lie straight if you take it. Oh, okay. Are we gonna... Oh, a bucket. We definitely need a bucket. It's an empty bucket. I'm not sure. If only I could talk to Mitzi first. Uh, look at the gun locker. Collecting guns must be his little passion. If only I could reach one of them. But they're all right next to him. He'd wake up for sure. Uh, look at the pest control man. He's fast asleep. Maybe he's drunk or on drugs. Regardless of that, I have no chance in a fight with this guy. Uh, oop, I missed what that one said. But he's not the sharpest tool in the box. I will have to use my wits to get rid of him. Look at the room. This must be his private, quote-unquote, room. He sits here all day playing with his guns while Ugly Betty upstairs cooks his food. What a charming couple. 
Yeah, he is sleeping peacefully, but he won't be sleeping peacefully for long. But he will be sleeping eternally at some point, I would imagine, chat. Uh, look at window. There's a cold draft coming through the broken window. Why? Why can't I just stab him with the rusty thing? Why do I have a painting? I shouldn't get too close. He might wake up. I can't combine anything, right? No. Rude. I just want the... Let me take the bucket. Maybe I have to... Oh, there we go. I'm just making sure that there's nothing we can use now that we... Okay. Not yet. I want to pour the bleach, but we have to talk to Mitzi first. But in order to do that, we need to get into the car first. So I'm a little unsure of what we want to do here. Block the draft with the painting into... Oh, good point. Good point. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna try that. Let me, uh... That would make a lot of sense. Let me see. I think we have to block it from here. This should stop the draft in the cellar. Okay. See, at first, too, when she saw the, um... The small window, I thought it was... I don't know, like, on the regular part of the house. That wasn't even occurring to me. It was in the cellar. This is good. I just realized this probably isn't a flashback, but actual time travel after you died. Uh, well, I don't think we're time... Like, I think we've caught up with ourselves, you know what I mean? I think before it was a flashback to what was happening. But, uh... But I'm not sure. Oh, didn't mean to do that. Okay, so we want to do this. This is definitely what we're going to do. But, uh, we gotta get that... We gotta get that phone first. So we gotta figure out how we're going to break into there and take it. Again, I don't know why we can't just go in there. Uh. There's nobody up there, though. Let us go. I want to go up there. What else was over here? Cellar door. Radio window. Sofa. I don't think I looked at this one, though. Oh, I see his fog. It's gonna be dumb, but can I... No. I was like, can I rip it? <laughs> I can't rip it. And then we can't do anything about the lamps right now, because we don't have any... Alright, um, we'll check outside one more time. See if we can do anything about the door. Uh, and if that doesn't work, then we'll have to go inside. Over to where she is, or maybe the kitchen again. There's a phone. How do I get the phone? Stab the couch. I tried to stab the couch, it wouldn't let me. Uh, this is a terribly bad weapon. Blunt, rusty piece of crap. Uh... Hey, there must be something in the kitchen, maybe. I mean, I can't... use something here, can I? No, not here. Could I pry the door open with a knife? No. 
All right, worth a shot. I don't think I have anything else in my inventory. Chad, I'm a little bit uh, confused right now. Oh, here we go, cloth. Uh, it was probably a nice tea towel once a long time ago. Now it's just a dirty piece of rag. Okay, we're gonna take that. We're making some sort of progress. Examine. There must be at least 20 bottles of bleach in here. Clean the knife with the bleach. That's a possibility. You might be uh, onto something. But I actually don't think that'll work because I can't combine them. It probably would have let me do that already if I had the chance. It's probably nice to... I think I need to probably pour the rag somewhere. But let me see if there's anything else I need to take. It's all rusted and covered and whatever. Hmm. Well, oh. well. Look what the cat dragged in. Oh, because she doesn't know we're dead. Run. Oh. I feel like that was supposed to happen, though. Because last time we were able to... Or maybe not. Probably not. But that's okay. She still doesn't know we're alive. Actually, you know what? I'll go back down cellar for like two seconds and see if we can do anything else in that room now that we have the, the rag. But I don't know. She doesn't know her dead dies anyway. Uh, sneak in. So let me see if I can, maybe I can put the rag in the bucket and then combine the bleach with it. Because I just can't natively combine anything, you know? Uh, there's got to be a way. And maybe, oh, you know what? Maybe we have to wrap the rag around our hand and like punch the window of the door. I mean, uh, the window of the, the vehicle and take the phone because she clearly wants to talk to Mitzi first before she continues. So I'm thinking, no, okay, never mind. It was a thought though. It was a thought. Probably can't use it here, but well, at least we don't have to redo anything. Chat, we're just still alive, or re-alive, reanimated, back to the future. I don't know. I, don't know. I just don't know, chat. Put bleach in the gas mask, then put the mask on the guy. I can't do that. It's It won't let me combine items. That's why I'm trying to tell you. I can't combine them. I think what we need to do is she needs to put the poisonous gas in there to kill him. Uh, she's going to have the mask on. That's why we had to close the, the place. But the problem is that we can't currently do that um, without knowing what else we had, need to put in. I tried to stab the window. It didn't let me do that either. We, we got to do the window because we got to go talk to uh, Mitzi. But I don't know how to do that because she just won't. Maybe look around. No, she said this. I could probably find something useful on the shelves, but first I need her to go away. How do we get her to go away? I don't think if we wait, maybe you're just not trying hard enough. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. I mean, I'll just press everything and see if we can use anything. No.
Because see that bottle? See the bottle that's like right behind her? I think that's what we need. So we need her to leave first. So we gotta figure out how to do that. I mean, if we could start the lawnmower or something, then maybe, but I don't think it works that way. And we can't look at the dead body anymore. It's not letting us. Uh, well, there's a phone number. So like we could call them. Did you put the gas mask on before pouring the bleach in the bucket? I put the gas mask on when we were down there, but it wasn't letting me pour the bleach yet because she wants to talk to Mitzi first. So we got to call Mitzi, but in order to call Mitzi, uh, we need the phone, but the phone is in the, the car, and I can't... <laughs> Are you able to remove plug or key from any of these tubs? Well, I, I got a key from the one tub, and I used it to open the back of the like van thing. But, uh, it won't let me, like, go through and get the stuff or something, you know? Wait, guys, Molotov cocktail? No. <laughs> Interact with literally everything. I'm trying. I'm legitimately trying. Oh, here we go. Remove light bulb. It's too hot, I can't touch it. All right, so maybe I can find another light bulb and then we can go into the like library thing. So here's the library, it says switch on, which I can't do. Oh wait, you know what chat? You know what chat? No, the radio doesn't do anything. Uh, we have a cloth, right? So that means that we can probably use the cloth to unscrew the light bulb without burning our hands. Aha! I did it. I cut the power with the knife, SMH. Imagine. But if we cut the power, then it probably wouldn't help us. Use bleach on the light bulb. I'm genuinely wondering what this stupid, uh, um, Hold on, I'm gonna go back because I want to get the other light bulb. I'm wondering what the knife is even gonna be used for. Like, we're probably gonna use it to pry open something, maybe. What? Wait, hold on, what? Oh, I wasn't even at the lamp. Don't mind me, chat. Alright, they have some external lights. They don't need these. I'm just gonna take these. <laughs> Stabbing, maybe? Well, that's what I thought, but every time... Like, if you read the knife, right? It says, uh, it's the sharpest knife I could find there, but it's still terribly blunt. It wouldn't make a good weapon at all. So she just talks about how shitty it is half the time. Or cooking. I mean, we did get it from the kitchen, to be fair. So, I'll check the books in a second. I just want to put this light in. Oh, look at that. Oh, there's a phone. Okay, we'll use the phone in a second. Let me check the books. The books look like they haven't been touched for a long time. Maybe they've been left here by the previous owners. What's that old phone book? That could be useful, but I'm not sure whose number to look for. It's not like I have any friends that I could call for help. It's from 10 years ago. Still, I don't know what to look for. Hmm... Call 911. I know, right? Surely the cops can figure something out. Just be like, they have a dead body in, in this tub here. They tried to kill me. Uh, an old phone. It looks like it's still working. There's a sticker with the number on the base. Oh, okay. Actually, now that we see the number, can we check the phone book and find out? Okay, we don't have the number. I thought we'd have it. Oh wait, this Britain, I forgot. There are no cops here. Hey, what do they call them? I mean, they have some sort of policeman, kind of, right? Make the two dinner, then maybe they would let you live. I mean, that's true, too. 
Let's see who we can call. Call 911. Call Susan's flat oh, no. first. No, no, no. Damn it. I can't remember my own number. I've got it written down somewhere at home, but I hardly ever use it. Damn it, Susan. Alright, uh, I think if we call the other number, it will distract her. A Welshman and a sheepdog. Bobby's. Oh, okay. It must be this phone's number. That's good, though, because we know the phone number. That means that if we get the other phone, we can uh, do something. Imagine not knowing your number. I know, right? The police going to answer. Police emergency line. How can I help you? My name is Susan Ashworth. I've been kidnapped. These people are crazy. They're going to eat me alive. I don't know what to do. I mean, Please. that's fair, Rena. You've got to help me. Please. What's your home address and postcode, ma'am? What? It's irrelevant. I've been kidnapped. I'm not there. I'm afraid I need your home address to confirm your identity, Miss Ashworth. It's flat 412 Helen Street, EX 4422DL. Okay? We know where she lives now, chat. Now please, we know do it. something. For God's sake. Calm down, ma'am. Who's kidnapped you? I don't know who they are. They didn't tell me their names. No, but wait. He's an animal control guy. Drives a white van. He's got a wife. She poured bleach down my face. Bitch. They're... They're just mad. Won't stop at nothing. I'd run Robert away, House, yeah. but there's this fog. And I have no idea where we I've are. I've already done that. You have been kidnapped by a... Married couple, is that correct? No, not just any married couple. Don't you understand what I'm saying? Well, this is going well These with the police. These people are fucking serial killers. There's blood and bones everywhere. I mean, some of it is cat's blood, but there's human blood too. I told you, they eat stray cats and dogs, and they eat people. They're sick. They make me sick. Is this a case of family disturbance, Mum? What? what? <laughs> No. What if we took a selfie Did in front of the cat lady house? Imagine. Prior That'd be cool. to the incident, are you related? Jesus. Did I say anything at all that would make you think that? Oh, chat, I keep forgetting Please, to give you guys ads. Let me do that. Here you go. Mom. I need to establish some facts first before a police car can be dispatched. Look, just track this number and you'll find where I am. You can do that, yeah? They always do it on films. I bet you've got my number displayed on the screen already. Just do me a favor and send a police car, will you? Of course, ma'am. Stay on the line. Oh, did you witness cruelty to animals? What? You mentioned cat's blood. Was this married couple cruel to animals? If so, I will put you through to animal welfare services for this area. Would you prefer that, ma'am? Are you joking? No, I would not. Takes a tip okay, to Britain just for that. That'd be funny, chat. Hello? Miss Ashworth, uh, are you still there? Yes, of course I'm still here. According to our records, you've recently discharged yourself from the hospital. Are you currently undergoing treatment for any mental health problems? No, it's not like that. No, he just doesn't believe her. Please listen to me very Yeah, carefully. Rana, I'm sorry I didn't give you an I can sooner. connect you with the on-duty doctor at the RCW Hospital's mental health unit where you received care recently. They can help you. You just have to talk to them and explain what's on your mind. I'm not fucking crazy. So that's it. You're just not going to help me. We are not qualified to provide psychiatric help, ma'am. It's best if you contact this was your the doctors. Police. 
Would you like me to give you their number in case you'd prefer to call them yourself? Oh, don't bother. I'll take care of it myself. Thanks for nothing. Goodbye. Well, don't worry, chat. We'll just commit some good old-fashioned murder. Murder revenge and we'll be fine. Oh, I can find my own number. Cool. No cops in Britain, I guess. Should have called the Bobbies. Yeah. Alright, let's give Mitzi a call real quick. Come on, Mitzi. Answer the phone. Hello? Oh, thank God. Finally. Mitzi, it's me. I need your help. What's happened? Where are you, Ms. Ashworth? I've been kidnapped by some psychopaths. I ha You have to call the police. I've been kidnapped by some psychopaths. Police didn't do anything. What? How did that happen? You only went downstairs to check on the cats. Look, it doesn't matter. I'll explain everything later. These people are maniacs. They're killers. It's either me or them. I have no choice. I've found some bleach. It reminded me of this gas you were talking about. I could get rid of one of them with that gas and get a hold of a gun. You said it was fairly easy. Miss Ashworth, no, you can't. Mitzi's Listen like, what? <laughs> this guy is a fucking murderer. He's nothing but a parasite. No one will miss him. Trust me. The police won't be coming to rescue me. And I could really do with a gun here, you know? I... You need to find what? ammonia? Probably. What's the other chemical, Mitzi? Tell me! Now! I need to know. Mitzi, please. Okay, fine, I'll tell you. It's no rocket science. You just need some pesticide. Beautiful. Pesticide? Didn't you say it is something everyone's got at home? Well, you wouldn't use it. You live in a flat high above the ground. It's for people who own houses. Or, like, mansions? You can pick up these things at any supermarket anyway. Fine. What do I do with it? Just mix bleach and the pesticide together. Make sure there isn't much ventilation. And wear some protection. A gas mask or something, yeah? Right. Bleach. Pesticide. Got it. And a right. gas mask. Got it? I wonder if yeah. there's some in the van. Thanks. Some pesticide. Because if we can get it from there, then we should be good to go. Um. Okay. Thanks. Wish me luck. I mean, we've got Careful, Mitzi's approval, at least. I'll be fine. I'm a tough old girl. This will be like a walk in the park. Yeah, pest control's gotta have pesticide. If they don't, I'm gonna be so shocked. Now, the thing is, I think there's pesticide where, like, the wife is, but I'm not sure. But I, I'm assuming we're gonna have to use the gun on her, so we gotta find pesticide first. Maybe if we go upstairs? No. All right, I'm going to check the van, and if we can't find it in the van, then we'll have to start walking around and see what we can we can do. All right, I'm, get, I'm not getting any options for that, just the driver's side window. So let's go back maybe into the weird bathtub area. And see uh, what we got going on there. Uh-oh. Well, I wasn't expecting her to just be there. Okay. Yeah. Amit's not alive, correct. Let's, uh... Well, first, let's see if we can put the, pour the bleach in and get that out of the way. Now that we've gotten Mitzi's, uh, not approval, but we asked her about it. All right, bleach is all set. I like how it still says it's an empty bucket, even though we've already done the bleach. All right, now we gotta, we just gotta get that pesticide. Once we get the pesticide, we should be fine. I feel like she's gonna kill us again though.
She must be back outside. I guess that's what all the, the door opening sounds we hear are. Picture of dirt, melted fat, petrol. Where can we get some pesticides? Probably meet human too. I could probably find something useful on the shelves, but first I need to go away. So we could distract her if we could use a phone, but we can't get to the other phone. Sometimes she leaves, but not always. I gotta use this knife for something. You need to use mystery egg 10 times. Yes, that's the only way. Listen, Rena, you put me on that whole wild goose chase for no reason. Can I get more bleach? No. I probably need to go under the table after I've gotten the phone. But how do I get the phone? Chad, I'm not quite sure. If you have any suggestions, let me know. Grandfather clock looks like it's still working. <sighs> Go back and call Mitzi and see if you can get her to call back. Oh, that's actually a good point. Yeah, let's try that. Hold on, Rena. I want to try what Blue said first. Because that actually seems like it would be a good idea if we can get it to work. Oh, no, we can't call her back. And that's this number. Why would I break the light bulb? I just put them there. It must be this phone's number. I wish I could go up the staircase. Or maybe I can. But it hasn't been letting me. It's still foggy out? Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, you did. I feel that. Well, Rena suggested going down and looking at the guy again, so we'll do that. See if that makes any difference. I can't really do anything with him until I can get the pesticide. I don't need a table and throw the light bulb. I can't. It doesn't work that way. I mean, maybe, maybe it could. I could, I can try to take one of the light bulbs. I just don't know if it'll do anything. I feel like I have to hide under the table, like, because I feel like the, in order to distract her, right? If we wanted to distract her... We would probably want to take get the other phone somehow, call this phone. Except I still don't understand why the sofa's a thing. Probably not important. Uh, and if we can if we can call it, then oh, I can't even take the light bulbs out. Not gonna let me. Uh, and then we can hide and, and deal with this. So. No, we, we need to get the thing out of the van. I just got to figure out how to get the thing out of the van. Mm. 
I mean, I can hear her walking around. But, I don't know, we'll just probably... Don't you have the car key? What happened to that? So I used that to open the back of the van, and then apparently it just didn't do anything to the, uh, to the driver's side. I don't think I can knock over the clock. I don't have anything to do that. But theoretically, yeah, the key that I used to open this, I don't understand why it's not allowing me to, uh, to just open the other part of the van. Can I go around? Oh, here we go. Some loose bricks. Uh, part of the wall is badly damaged. He probably, he had probably driven this van into it once. Damaged as it is, I can't quite pull the bricks out with just my fingers. Okay, so we're probably going to use the knife, right? I can't climb through the back of the van. It Well, it's not giving me any options. I think we have to throw this loose brick in there. So we finally used the knife. I just want to see if there's anything else in this direction first. I think we're just lost in the fog. Yeah. Cat lady threw the first brick at Stonewall. <laughs> well, maybe she did. I don't know. She could be time traveling. Uh, probably not though. Uh, brick. An old brick. It's quite heavy use. No keys in the ignition. I'll have to find another way. Take the phone. All right. I want to call it, but I want to enter first. Because I think we're going to want to hide under the table. Because we'll want to get the pesticide like while she's answering the phone. Here we go. Here we go, chat. We will be murdering them soon, don't worry. Also, I'm gonna give you your ad now, real quick, uh, because I need to catch up on the ads. <laughs> Assuming the ad plays for you. All right, we have to go really quickly while the phone's still ringing. Side take. I think that's it, right? Nothing else? Yeah. I don't hear it anymore. Just go. She just looks like a killer. How hasn't she already been arrested? I mean, that's a good point. Well. But we should have the pesticide now. Add on TV, but not on the iPad? That's interesting. At least one of the ads played. <laughs> Alright, we have the pesticide, though. So we're all set. We're all good to go. Alright. Oh, it did it? That's actually really funny. Yeah, she killed us, but we got the pesticide, so it's all good. Nice. Oh. Are we gonna shoot him? Or is he just gonna die? I'm assuming he's just gonna die. Alright chat, time to get revenge. She's cleaved us with her cleaver many times. So I think it's uh, it's fair that we get a little payback. 
to say the least. Where is she? Chat, where'd she go? Oh, shit. She hid in everything. Cool. Do you know what I've seen? Do you know where I've been? I've been for We've the killed the second uh, parasite, I guess, there, chat. I assume they're both together as, as the second one. They call me the cat lady. That's what she said in the last time. Some flowers never bend towards the sun. Chat, I think I'm gearing up to call it a night. Miss Ashworth, I'll just wait I was very sick dialogue. about you. Are you all right? How did you get back? I walked. You saw something terrible in that fog, didn't you? I saw a monster. And the monster was me. Oh, they're hugging. That was a well-needed hug, I think. Alright, chat. We're on a new chapter. I think now is the time, is a good place to stop it. And we can continue on from here. Game successfully saved. This has been good. This has been good. Oh, chat. Here we are. Again. Whenever a story gets stale, they always add a baby. What? <laughs> what is that supposed to mean? How is that relevant to this? Oh, Destroy and Delta head are on. Yeah, I noticed that. I was, uh, I was thinking of doing... You know, we like to raid Destroya. He's got less people at the moment, too. And plus, he's playing A Link to the Past, and you know how I feel about Legend of Zelda, so I think we need to. Uh, let me get over. We'll get set with him. And uh, then we'll probably do our raid. But this was good. This was good. I had a fun time playing this. Um, obviously, we're going to continue playing it more. I'm st Again, I'm sorry it took me so long to get back to the cat lady, but I'm glad we did. So, uh, But let me just... Hey, Shadow, excuse me. I'm yawning. This was good, though. I Thank you guys for uh, for joining me on this. Very depressing but interesting uh, game. Let's see. Slash raid. Is Troy. Uh, did I do that right? D I Z T R O Y H. Yep. Uh, here we go. We're gearing up to head out. Or whatever. That being said, chat. As always. Well, I'll give it a minute, because it has to get the raid ready. Okay, now the raid is ready. Thank you again for coming. I uh, don't know when the next time I'll stream is. Might be tomorrow. Might, might play something. Whether it's more of this or it's Minecraft, not really sure. But um, I look forward to talking to you whenever I do. So that being said, as always, I'm the Raging Book Nerd telling you to stay hydrated, get good night's sleep, and I'm going to start our raid now.